Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change a primer bulb on a Echo PSA 266, um, the SRM 266, SRM 225, and PSA 225. Um, so, what that means, this is a PSA 266. So they even have the um, the version that's not split boom. So here is a split boom ver a split boom version. And uh, <clears throat> normally you just have the SRM two six six, which is um, no split boom and it's just a straight shaft. Oh, well, this one has a sp uh, split boom. And uh, on the two two five, which is a twenty one point two, I believe cc's twenty one point five cc's. Uh, version of this echo trimmer is um, the model lower than this and it also comes in a split boom or just straight shaft and even comes in a curved shaft version which is the gt225 so uh, i'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the primer bulb in this thing so let me show you what's going on over here so right here is the primer bulb right there it's got a crack in it as you can see here and gas just comes straight out. Seeing that? So if your machine also has gas coming out and splashing everywhere, chances are you need a new primer bulb. So uh, I believe that you only need one tool for this. So that one tool you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver. And what it's gonna do is gonna take these four screws off over here, these four, and it's gonna take the uh, uh, air filter base off. And that's what we need to get to. So, um, for those of you who, uh, I'm, I think you can get by if you don't want to take the base off, if it's too complex for you, or you don't know how to do that, you could probably squeeze a, a Phillips in there, or even a flathead, and take that screw off. But I think it's just too much hassle, so I'd rather just um, take off the base. So, how are you going to do that? Is you're going to first unscrew this knob over here. What's gonna that's gonna do is it's gonna take off your air filter cover. Then underneath that is gonna be your air filter. So these two screws right here are gonna have to be taken off. Take off those two screws, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. So you just gotta take those off. So I picked this thing up uh, with two other trimmers for 80 bucks. And I think that was a really good deal because when I got home, I put gas in this trimmer and it started right up. Then I tried to start it again and the primer bulb broke. So that's why I said I might as well make a video. So once you got these two screws off, you just got to take them off and then slide this whole thing here right out. It's a little dirty underneath here, so I might um, just put my finger over here and take an air compressor to it. Just like that. Now, to get your primer bulb off, I'm gonna leave this over here because it'll be easier for you when you're putting it back on to just line that up and get that air. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take off these four screws over here. Um, so I normally just start off by loosening all four of them like that. And then I'll just take them off. It was pretty hot out today, so anytime I tried to get anything done in here, it well, I was sweating buckets. So that's why I saved this for a little bit later today. It's currently about 8.30 right now. I was planning on doing this a little earlier, but uh, my neighbor needed a hand fixing his lawnmower, so I helped him. And now I'm here. So, I don't know if you saw that, but I was trying to take the uh, primer ball out of this, and it just flew out onto the floor. And it's a good thing we don't need that anymore, or else I think I just lost it. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take out my trusty old 
um, carburetor parts over here. And I believe you need the uh, lar the largest, I think, for the uh, two-stroke um, uh, machines uh, to fit in here. And it fits pretty well, so I think that'll be good. Now that's actually all you have to do. So now you have to reverse what you just did and put everything back together. And we're going to see if uh, it's going to start up. So basically just a reverse of what you just did. Just have to line everything up, make sure all your gaskets are in place, and then tighten these. And then I'm gonna see if uh, it primes, and if it primes, it should run, because it was running just this afternoon. I know this trimmer uh, set outside for probably a little while, um, but as soon as I put fuel in it, it started right up. So let's see now if, uh, She's gonna prime. So let's get you a close up over here. There you go, that's good. Three pumps and it's full. So we're just gonna continue priming because we're gonna do a cold start now. Choke on. Now I'm gonna put the get uh, the uh, air filter back on it's a little dirty but i don't have a new one so it'll do for now i uh if you uh, don't want to buy a new one but you want to have your um machine running at its top performance or peak performance uh, i suggest you take an air compressor and you clean it out or i even seen some people um wash in water and then let it dry and supposedly it works so you could try that if you want, or else it's just a couple bucks to buy a new one on Amazon or at an e and an Echo dealer. So let's see if this thing will run. And we just had a bit of rain too. Ground is wet, but we're gonna see if it uh, should start. Turn the choke off. There you have it. I hope this was informative and helpful to people who need to change their prior bulb on the uh, 225 and 266 um, category of echo trimmers. And um, I hope it was fast and easy for you guys as well. I know this only took me one tool and one part. That uh, the part you can get on Amazon for a couple bucks or buy a bunch of them for just a little over a couple bucks maybe five six dollars um a phillips screwdriver everybody should have a phillips screwdriver phillips and flathead screwdriver uh, everybody should have that uh, in my opinion at least so i hope this was helpful and i hope you learned something and i hope you enjoyed it as well so thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel